Hey, what's up guys? This is Crispy710 and today I am going to be showing you guys how to drop modded cars online after the latest update. Alright guys, now before we go ahead and get started into the video, I just want to go ahead and tell you guys that on one of my last videos I did say I was going to be giving away a modded account. Now I do want to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of what the modded account has. Um, it does have some like cars in here that are modified already. Um, it does have a bunch of deluxos. It has like um, all the oppressor mark twos inside of the um, clubhouse. Mm, it's got modded outfits. It's got um, yeah, it's got a, it's got a, a few things. It's basically ready for you guys to just like hop on it and start playing. All right. So um, these are the stats on it. You know, um, I'm still trying to max out like the strength, maybe the shooting, um, and then besides that, you guys can do do the rest. Um, it is like above rank 120. I think it's like 200 and something. Um, in total, it has like about 205 deluxos right now in the garages. So each one sells for about 2.8 million dollars. So I think in total that might be like about 570 million, something like that. Um, on top of that, I do have 75 million dollars in the bank account, which it's not like a whole lot but obviously like not everybody has the you know 75 million like that um the account might come with the frozen money file already installed into it so that you guys can do the frozen money whenever you guys want to um so yeah like i said it's got the it's got these outfits these are transfer glitch outfits they're not like save wizard outfits or anything like that um because they're currently not working but yeah like i said they are transfer glitch outfits i have a couple of them um some modded cars, um, money in the account, um, a bunch of properties purchased. All of the ammunition is already unlocked, like the fire bullets, the armor piercing rounds, the explosive bullets, all that stuff, it's already unlocked. Um, I'm most likely going to put in the new cars that just came out, or at least like some of them before I give the account away. The ones that are already like out and released, um, I'll probably put those into the account. Um, so yeah, guys. It's honestly pretty easy to go ahead and enter this giveaway. It's only a few requirements. You guys do need to like this video. You guys do need to be subscribed. Uh, once you guys are subscribed, you guys need to comment a number down below from 1 to 100. If the number is already taken or somebody else, you know, basically like already put that number before you guys, I will comment down below and tell you guys to choose a different number. Now, once you guys go ahead and subscribe and comment and all that, just go ahead and take a screenshot and you can send it either to my Crispy710 account or to my Crispy Cream account, which is one of these right here. All right. For an extra entry, you guys can always share the video and well, yeah, you guys get an extra entry. All right. But we're going to go ahead and uh, get right into this video right now of uh, dropping cars. Um, I will try and tell you guys a little bit more about the account um, towards the end of the video. But once you guys go ahead and modify the cars on save editor, transfer the file over to save wizard and unplug your USB drive. You're going to plug the USB drive back into your PS4. You're going to go to settings. You're going to go to application, save data um, and management. You're going to go to save data on USB storage device. And then you're going to copy it over to the system storage, which basically what you're doing is copying the file that has the cars um, over to your PS4 to your account so that they can basically appear. All right. Now, what I like to do is I go to delete the da uh, save data in system storage and I delete the auto save and the profile. That way, when you delete the auto save and the profile, um, the game only has one like, you know, one file that it can load you into like one game file, which is basically the file, you know, the like file that we want to like load into as like Trevor in his underwear so that we can hit this glitch and everything. Um, now, the other thing that I am showing you guys is how to set up the internet connection. I use a LAN cable, which is an Ethernet cable, um, and I put my MTU settings to 615. Now, this is the account that's going to be dropping the cars. Okay, so um, all I've done is set up my MTU settings, and then I also transferred the, um, the file with all of these like modded cars from the USB storage device over to my PlayStation 4. Um, now, as you guys can tell, I do have a message set up with my other account, which is currently sitting in a sign of a job inside of an invite only session and the MTU settings on that account are 800. OK, so as you guys can tell, I just have to go up to the messages and it'll take me like almost straight to his uh, to that profile, which is um, the account that I'm going to be joining up off of. OK, so if you guys are not super familiar with what I'm talking about, 
go ahead and check out a couple other videos um i do have another video like a few weeks back on my youtube channel on like um also like dropping cars and stuff so if you guys are not too familiar with what i'm talking about just try and get like a little bit up to date um but just to try and like explain it to you guys um you know you have save editor you have save wizard um and then you have like different like files that you can download like sgta 5000 sgta 5007 um you know stuff like that um so yeah once you go ahead and have that file downloaded and all that and then you make your cars on save editor and you swap that file over to save wizard um you know you're basically like you know done modifying the cards and all that you unplug the usb storage device you plug it back into the ps4 you copy the file from the usb storage device over to the playstation 4 um so basically you know that file has all of the modded cards and stuff um after you go ahead and do that um you know you just like if you don't have the mtu settings like ready you put the mtu settings to like 615 um usually i drop cars with my other account being online um sitting in an invite only session um inside of the tying of a job like just in the settings like not fully inside of the job um and i usually put the mtu settings on that account to 800 so a lot of people ask me like if i have a friend that's helping me like does he have to put his mtu settings i would suggest it but i know a lot of people that say that they don't have to but I'm not 100% sure how that works. Um, maybe it just works the same way where they don't have to do anything to their settings. They just have to sit inside of an invite-only session um, inside of the tying of a job. But yeah, like I said, I'm not 100% sure. Other people use Anwak 2P4, which is the person that a lot of us use to get glitched out to receive cars. Um, but other than that, I'm not 100% sure like what to do. I just know how to do it with uh, basically with another account or a friend. Um, and their MTU settings at 800. Um, so yeah, once you guys um, are fully up to date to all of that, and you guys um, like understand what I'm talking about, you guys are gonna go ahead and copy that file over to your system storage. You're gonna start up GTA 5, and um, you're basically gonna go straight into like loading into story mode. That's what it's gonna say on the bottom right corner. But once you you get to loading story mode 90%, you guys should see the online and the job stunt series. Now, once you guys load in, you guys should be um, Trevor in his underwear inside his house. Once you guys go ahead and load in as that, all you guys wanna go ahead and do is just uh, switch over to Franklin. All right. Now, once you guys switch over to Franklin, um, what is it called? He's either gonna be like eating or he's gonna be like ironing some clothes or he's going to be like on his computer the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to get a phone call from lester franklin is going to go ahead and answer the phone call all you have to do is um uh what is it called hang up on the on lester and make your way outside of the house now um when you're making your way outside of the house you can always like start to do the cheat code um the cheat code i will put it up right here on the screen um it is r1 r1 circle left right left right left right so there it is right there on the screen um now once you guys get a one star wanted level you guys are going to make your way over to the police so whether it's on your motorcycle your car or just running now once you guys are near them hold the options button once he puts his hands up let go of the options button go to online hover over choose character press x so that you guys get this quit alert and go over to tv and video you guys are going to hover over um youtube and then you guys are going to double tap the ps4 button to take you back to gta 5 all right you guys are going to accept this alert double tap the ps4 button it's going to take you back to youtube you're going to accept or uh you know start up youtube and then you're going to have to suspend the gta 5 application once you do that wait about four to five seconds on the youtube application and then go back to gta 5 you guys will see this girl right here in a bikini for a few seconds after that she should disappear and you guys should get a black screen with an alert you guys should hear doom 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 once you guys hear the third doom go up to your messages so that you guys can join your friend that's why i like have my message with my account like set up and everything so you guys just want to go ahead and go over to the overview join them like if you're going to be joining anawak 2p4 um but in this case you know like i said i'm joining my friend that's in a you know mtu settings 800 and all that on this alert you guys do wait about 15 seconds once you guys wait those 15 seconds you guys accept the alert 
your screen should flash just like it is about to right now accept the alert accept the second alert now you guys see joining gta online at the bottom right corner go to your settings go to network disconnect from the internet connect back to the internet and right here this is basically the steps that changed right so instead of having to like join your friend right away again you go to disconnect the internet you connect it back and then you have to wait about a, i would say a good 30 seconds um like after you connect your internet so that um the connection like fully establishes again like on gta 5 because if you go right back into gta 5 it's just gonna give you an alert that says like uh, you were signed out of like playstation network or some weird stuff like that like some weird um alerts but after the 30 seconds um just go ahead and join your friend again all right once you join your friend again it's gonna take you straight back into gta 5 with like a big alert or this one right here this welcome um, accept this alert wait about six to seven seconds where it says joining gta online on the bottom right corner go to um go to your devices and turn off the controller turn it back on and you guys should get an alert this alert right here you guys don't want to do nothing this is basically the last alert that you would get um you know doing this glitch before the update um right before you would spawn uh spawn in mount chiliad so as you guys could tell um, I got the alert. I did nothing to the alert. I just let it sit. It went away by itself and now I'm spawning on top of Mount Chiliad. So this is basically like the exact same things that were um, that would happen, you know, the last time we would do this. Oh, you guys do have to decline that alert right there. I did forget. I did forget to like let you guys know that there is going to be an alert as soon as you guys spawn in like on top of Mount Chiliad. Um, so yeah, you guys just decline that alert. Go over, uh, pull out your interaction menu, go to director mode. And as soon as you can go into it, um, I'll just go into it. And then you guys are going to be right here in the trailer. Go fully into director mode. Now, um, you guys should be spawning in also, like still as Trevor um, right here, like in the area where uh, we used to trade cars, like back, back in the day. Um, so as soon as you spawn in right here, pull out your interaction menu, go to garage and pull out the car that you want to, uh, that you basically want to drop online. Now, this right here can take anywhere from like five seconds all the way up to like two three four minutes all right so once you spawn in as trevor okay and you pull out the car that you want i would say the first thing that you guys should do is just pull out the car as soon as you guys spawn in as trevor go to the garage pull out the car immediately that you guys um want to drop online just because like i said this can take anywhere from site from five seconds all the way up to like four minutes all right now once you guys drop the car um or once you guys like make the car appear that you guys want um one way to check that you guys um did hit the glitch correctly um is by pulling out your phone now i was going to drop this car right here but i just realized that um i did not put the yankton plates on it um i left it with like the black and yellow which i really don't like um so we're probably going to drop this car maybe um but yeah, like I said, one way to check if you guys are like fully like you guys fully hit the glitch is if you guys pull out your phone and you guys see your online um, phone. OK, I don't have like any um, crew emblem or nothing like that. So my uh, my online phone just looks plain. Um, but yeah, you guys could tell right there when I pulled out my phone that it, it is the online phone. The story mode phone is like a black a black phone with like a screen cracked. OK, so um Honestly, if you guys if you guys were able to make it to this part right here, you guys fully hit the glitch. Um, this is basically the new method on how to how to drop cars and stuff. Um, and I hope you guys like liked it and enjoyed it, and it helped you guys out. Um, now I do not have the file that has the mo the new modded cars um, or it has the new cars that just came out. I don't have the file like saved, or I'm not 100% sure where to get it. Um, one of my friends did send it to me. And so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, see if I can, like, get it off of him or get a link so that you guys can go ahead and, like, click on that link and receive the cars. I will be trying to put it into the description, so just uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, currently, I don't have that, um, so you guys would have to, like, look for it yourselves. Or, I mean, if you guys just want to drop other cars that have been in the game already, you guys can go ahead and do that, um, obviously, with this method right here. Now, um, like I was saying about the account earlier... Don't forget to, uh, you know, to like, comment a number, 
um, send me a screenshot to uh, to one of those two profiles on my PlayStation. Um, and if you guys do want an extra entry, um, you guys can go ahead and share the video. Now, right here, as you guys can tell on the screen, my money popped up on the top right corner. Now, I am going to go ahead and go invisible in just a couple seconds. There we go. Now, I usually wait about five seconds right here. Then I click quit director mode. I get this alert. And while I'm waiting on this alert right here, my other account basically goes ahead and joins me. Okay. Now, if you guys have the problem of your friend joining you and it keeps telling them like friend is no longer in session. Once you go invisible and you wait five seconds and then you click quit director mode, tell your friend to wait about 10 seconds before they join you. I always wait 10 seconds on my other account before I join the account that's dropping the cars. And it always works for me. I'm always able to go into the uh, into the lobby and I see the car. I hop in it. And that's basically all that you have to do. So, yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I hope you guys understood it. I tried my best to explain it as best as I could. But if you guys do need help or have any questions, comment down below and I'll try my best to get to you guys. Um, other than that, um, thank you very much. I appreciate all the love and I'll see you guys next time.